In this video, I am going to explain muscles which do shoulder internal rotation. Shoulder internal rotation is this way. Okay, so in this picture, I am going to explain two muscles. First one is this one. This is pectoralis major. Let's say pec major. Pec major this is very big shoulder muscle see this size pec major is very big of course internal rotation is not only function of pec major it can do so many various things but one of functions of pec major is internal rotation one more muscle from this picture next one is this one this is deltoid especially anterior fiber anterior fiber when anterior fiber pulls bone this way this vector can create internal rotation by the way same as pec major when pec major contracts that brings bone this way so this vector that's why contraction of pec major brings internal rotation these two muscles are very strong internal rotators pec major and deltoid anterior fiber let me move on to next picture next muscles are these two muscles this one is very big muscle this is latissimus dorsi Latissimus dorsi. This one is teres major. But question is, these two muscles are located on posterior part of shoulder. How come these two muscles do internal rotation? Because attachment of these two muscles are in front of humerus. Imagine these guys attach on front part of humerus. So there is kind of a twisting of uh, orientation. So when these two muscles plus humerus this way, this way and this way, that makes internal rotation. If, if these two muscles attach on posterior part of humerus, that might do external rotation however because of attachment attachment is on front part that makes internal rotation latissimus dorsi and teres majors are also strong internal rotators okay this is very important by the way teres major and latissimus dorsi have completely same function internal rotation adduction by the way and extension these two muscles are very very similar let me explain next one next one is this one this is part of rotator cuff this is subscapularis subscapularis this is and front part of scapula this is front part of humerus that's why when subscapularis contracts this way that brings internal rotation this is kind of a rare muscle other two rotator cuff muscles do external rotation and one more rotator cuff muscle does abduction so subscapularis is kind of a unique muscle among rotator cuff subscapularis internal rotation let me go to first picture this is pectoris major pec major very strong muscle and anterior part of deltoid these two muscles do internal rotation next one teres major and latissimus dorsi because attachment of these two muscles of front part of humerus 
when they contract that brings internal rotation and subscapularis these are main internal shoulder rotators however if you look very very carefully other minor muscles can do internal rotation like coracobrachialis or biceps brachii depends on the shoulder placement other minor muscles can do internal rotation however in this video i wanted to focus on major internal rotators if you liked today's video please hit the like button comment and subscribe see you in the next video